it's Wednesday here. Um, just making a quick video. Um, I'm no health expert or nothing, but uh, I uh, try and uh, suggest things that I do. And uh, first of all, everybody's a very iodine deficient, and uh, I've been talking about this for quite some time. And uh, they took the iodine out of the bread in 1979. Reduce it less than 2% in your table salt, which converts to glass when heated, by the way. Um, and uh, 1979, they reduced the iodine and everything, and then by 1990, we had outbreaks of uh, uh, cysts and all kinds of uh, tumors in the chest, sort of thing, you know what I'm saying? So then, um, I've always tried to push like a proper healthy mindset and uh, a good, you know, good diet per se, but it's so hard nowadays because everything is uh, either genetically modified or it's being altered in some way, um, you know, uh, like the iodine, this is a, that's a half liter of iodine right here, new ghost. This is uh, probably the best stuff you can get. You know, you've got all these smaller balls that I, use uh, to, to fill them up with, right? But I mean, I was saying about earlier in the week, uh, you know, we're, we're so uh, deficient on everything. I mean, um, you know, everybody's got to take their vitamins every day. Uh, if you got a water distiller, you know, you got to put your trace minerals and stuff back in your water or you put it back in you. And, uh, you know, you're constantly taking NAC and stuff like that, right? And there's all kinds of other, I got supplements coming out the yin yang around here. Anyway, and uh, I, I read a lot of stuff, and I do a lot of research, and I kind of uh, I like pressing truth in a positive direction, and I don't like anybody living in fear in this game down here, because that's what this whole thing is based on, is fear. And uh, fear can ruin anything. It can ruin a good friendship. It can uh, put you into a situation where, you know, um, you might even fail a job interview or something like that. Not that I'm promoting that, but you know, people get anxiety over this crazy fear stuff, and they don't even have any idea who they are. And it's it's really hard because I know a lot of us are dealing with the sleepal, and uh, it's very difficult to try and wake up uh, the dead. And just to the simplest things. Um, people don't even want to hear and it can get discouraging and I don't want anybody to give up keep trying I mean I keep trying every day um, that's why I make these crazy videos and stuff that's why I promote all this truth that I kind of been sitting on here and you know everybody's so uh, faith, got this faith in the internet right and, and they're so uh, um, dependent on this system right but if the lights ever went out in Dodge, you ain't going to have no information coming to you whatsoever. Well, uh, at least I got a, a library from hell here. Because I am in hell. If you haven't realized you're in hell, you're, not, you're, in, you're missing the narrative. That's why I got to take all these supplements. That's why the food's no good, the water's no good. I have to distill my water. Um, and then I have to treat the water afterwards because I have to put the vitamins back into it and the nutrients that I need. Um, they control your weather. They control your sky. They control your government. All these parasites are nothing but parasites and they're in charge and everybody just placates to their needs. And then everybody's running around trying to push the truth and freedom and this, that and the other thing and I think they're missing the narrative. A lot of people, right? A lot of people are just doing it for a quick buck. And to me, my rewards are not in this life. My rewards will come to me after I leave this shit show, right? That's why I give everything away. Um, I don't do anything uh, in regards to helping people out that I would profit from. If anything, I lose, <laughs> and I have. I mean, I used to be the uh, Chairman of the Halifax, I used to be the owner of the Halifax Regional Furniture Bank Society. 
which has nothing to do with Freemasons or anything like that, because uh, I can get into that later. But uh, I helped out people for basically 20, 20 years of my life, um, uh, providing them with furniture, um, whatever they needed. Uh, you know, everything from beds, table sets, uh, TVs, microwaves, whatever to keep them all content. I would uh, pick this stuff up and then I would deliver it. And uh, I was working, uh, I hired three Russian guys. Actually, I hired uh, 14 of them, but I kept uh, three or four on a regular basis. Um, Alexei Lashenkov, uh, Alexander Latin, and uh, Sasha, I can't remember his last name. Anyway, so I was working with these uh, three guys all day and all night half the time, um, helping out um, people in Halifax and the surrounding areas. I mean, basically all of Nova Scotia at some points, but the whole thing is um, I learned how to speak Russian with these guys. And uh, not that I'm very good at it. <laughs> but I mean, um, where I got these guys was um, they had jumped off to ship bison in the uh, Halifax Harbor. I guess it was about 35 Russian sailors uh, abandoned the ship and swam to shore in the Halifax Har Harbor because their ship was listing at sea. It was such an old vessel that it was like a death can. And these guys were out in the sea and they were, they were, um, doing, I guess they were fishing. And uh, basically the bison got towed into Halifax Harbor by the uh, Coast Guard. And when the boat got in the harbor, uh, Alexi and the boys jumped off the ship and swam to shore. And basically they were looking for some sort of a, a refugee status and I tried to, I wrote them a, a bunch of letters in regards to that. And um, and they were great guys and hard workers. And um, basically I, I did this kind of work helping out the needy with my buddies there and some other guys too, don't get me wrong. But uh, for, for a good part of 20 years. And um, uh, I worked with the women's shelters, uh, Barney House, uh, that's a shelter for battered women. Adson House, which is a shelter for uh, uh, homeless women and women with substance abuse issues. Then there was the Berry House, that was the uh, women's shelter for the women that were getting out of the correctional institutes. And then there was a the Marguerite Center, and that was the women's for uh, uh, women's center for uh, drug addictions. And basically, I provided s services to all these facilities. And then the regular Halifax uh, Social Services Department uh, for quite some time. Uh, one, uh, my ex-partner of many, many years uh, was the uh, queen bee of the female transient caseworkers in Halifax, Nova Scotia forever. And uh, she's still active with that kind of work. And um, so I, I did a lot of uh, good stuff in the community there. And this is where I've always done that kind of work. And I've always found myself giving and not taking. And I, I've, I've had really, really good days and I've had really, really bad days. However, you know, um, we are all here for yet a meeting, uh, a, a moment in time as far as, you know, what we got going on here. And so I feel uh, the, the majority of my time has been spent helping out mankind. On top of doing this other stuff and then doing all the uh, freedom rallies and the protests and and um, over 2,000 videos, and then even here in Toronto, um, I was involved with uh, an organization that would feed the homeless on a regular basis, and all over through Southern Ontario, and we'd even go to uh, Montreal, Quebec twice a month and feed the homeless there. And I got all kinds of videos on my YouTube channel on that gig, uh, that gig. and um, it's kind of good, you get a good warm fuzzy when you help out the homeless and you give them a, a hot meal and and uh, uh, clean the new winter clothes in the middle of February. I remember I was in uh, Woodstock, Ontario uh, February of 2021 and uh, providing a hot meal and uh, clean the new winter clothing to the homeless in Woodstock, Ontario and that's at the City Hall in Woodstock and I got an $880 fine for doing that. So, 
when you're helping out, sorry guys, fruit fly, when you're helping out your fellow man and um, you get an $880 fine, where am I? Anyway guys, like I said, I try and spread the truth and uh, I'm active with a whole bunch of different kinds of groups. Um, a lot of people know me out there and uh, you know, I don't do this for any kind of fame or any kind of money or anything like that. And um, I just try and help out the cause and I want to do it in a positive way. I want everybody to know uh, I love you and hope you're having a great day. And um, don't give up on yourself and don't give up on your fellow man. You know, we're not out of this game yet. They're trying to reduce us and uh, convert us into who knows what. But uh, take care of yourself. Have a great day, guys. And God bless you. Peace out.